Hi there, this is a U-Kits TJ6A, which is a six-band sideband, upper and lower sideband, and CW transceiver. Um, it's a finished one, I finished it. Uh, quite a complex kit, but uh, lots of surface mount and stuff, but anyway. Uh, okay, so there we go. I've just currently been testing it here with uh, my other radio over here. Just got that going, uh, transmitting into a dummy load, and uh, just testing the uh, receive on the U-Kits radio and it seems to work fine so if I turn up the audio gain there and transmit hello one two one two one two test one two one two that works fine it's going go into a dummy load so there's no need for call signs or anything um, so that works well and you can see here it's got a step button so I can change uh, currently on 100 kilohertz steps I can change the step you can see it there uh, yep that works step again and step again. There we go. Uh, to change the band, you just hit this uh, tune button. Um, yep, to change the band again. There's 80 meters. Um, we can go up from here up to uh, 40 meters and so on. So, works quite well. It's got uh, uh, three modes uh, upper side band. CW and lower side band that works fine. Um, puts out between 8 and 10 watts depending on the band you're on. I'll uh, give you a look inside, won't be a sec. Okay, this is inside the transceiver. Oh, the front panel is down there. Um, okay, first of all, the main board that's the main board there. Um, these are the crystal filters. Now, there is, this is the standard filter, this is not the replacement filter, which gives it auto bandwidth, etc. I haven't installed that as yet, but um, anyway, you also got to take a few components off, add a few components on, and also change the main um, control chip, which is in the back of the DDS. So, anyway, there's the board, uh, there's quite a few transformers and coils and that to wind and stuff, but it's not a bad little thing once it gets going, and it does work alright. Uh, now, on the back... We have the uh, PA board, uh, they're the relays and the various coils for different frequencies or inductors there. Uh, when you hit this, the, uh, the button here, you can hear the noise out of the speaker, there's some interference from my computer or something, it's not connected to an antenna, but um, you can hear the relays there clonking. So that's the power amp, um, the power output transistors are located here, which are on the back and make sure you put some heatsink compound on those and it uses the back plate, there's a couple of them there three all up, it uses the back plate as um, as a heatsink and the front is the DDS board which is the control board which controls the frequency um, that you're on and also drives the, uh, the, the display here the um, LCD display, dot metrics display if you do change the crystal filter board you also need to change the um, the RAM um, chip down there, the main chip, because that all has updated software on it. So there you go. That's um, that's the radio, and it works pretty well. On the back, you've got a BNC output, as with the QRP radios normally have. And uh, there you go. There's the audio gain, and uh, change the frequency there. So works pretty well. I haven't really made any contacts or anything with it yet, but seems to work all right anyway so uh, that's the TJ6A um, amateur transceiver six band side band upper side band lower side band uh, I don't think I showed you this so CW lower side band upper side band and um, also has memories as well which is good so you can change between the various memories which is very good so there you go so there it is the TJ6A from ukits.com uh, which is very very good